Namaste beautiful yogis and welcome to an interval yoga class, impact interval yoga class. Let's begin at the front of our mats, roll the shoulders back and down, turn the palms of your hands forward. And you can swing side to side or shift your weight from the left to the right foot and back. Kind of finding your balance and finding your equilibrium. And coming to a steady, still place. Begin to deepen your breath. And just take a moment to scan your body from your toes to the top of your head, just scanning and paying attention to your body in the quietness and stillness of this moment. Pay attention to things that normally you don't notice. Inhale your hands over your head. Grab your right wrist with your left hand and reach over to your left, look up. Back to center, over to the opposite side. Keep your right elbow back. And really elongate, lengthen to the left. You can help with your hand here to reach to it. Basically, it's assisting you to reach a little further up and over, back to center, inhale, lift, come onto your tippy toes. Stay on your tippy toes and take chair. You can clasp your hands in front of you. Slowly, try not to lose your balance, come back up. Onto your tippy toes to standing. Shall we do it one more time? Chair, tippy toe chair, and come back up. We'll get better at it as we practice. Great, drop your heels on the ground and move into warrior dream. Now if you're more of a, if uh, your lower back can support you here with your hands over your head, just open your arms out. This requires a lot of back strength. Coming up to standing on one leg, bring your left knee into your chest and back to warrior tree. and knee to your chest <laughs> and back to warrior tree and bring your hands on the floor and step back in plank chaturanga upward facing dog chaturanga downward facing dog Spread your fingers wide open. Walk your feet between your hands, exhale, bow down. Straight back, inhale, up to standing. Come onto your tippy toes. You can step your feet hip width. Chair. Come up. Chair. Come up and drop your heels on the ground, warrior tree. S right leg behind you, left leg on the ground to right knee into your rib cage. And again, warrior tree. Knee to chest. Warrior tree. Strong back. Knee to chest. And Let's bring the hands on the ground and step back in plank. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. Look over your right shoulder, over to the left. Back to center, Chaturanga. Exhale, downward facing dog. And really lift through your tailbone here. (laughs) 
Walk your feet between your hands, exhale, bow down. Shake your head, relax the upper back, and relax your neck. Bend the knees and come up to your pose. This time, you're stepping on your entire foot. Shift your weight onto your right leg, one-legged chair. Two, warrior three, left leg behind you. Two, one-legged chair. Two, warrior three. Two, one legged chair. Hold it and go a little deeper in this chair. Use your leg muscles and booty. Warrior three, do all the way hands on the floor. Step back, plank. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Chaturanga. Downward facing dog. Lifting again through your tailbone, feel your spine decompressing, feel your mind quieting, feet between the hands, exhale, bow down. Bend the knees, chair. Shifting the weight onto your left leg, one-legged chair. Warrior three, right leg behind you. One-legged chair. Warrior three. One-legged chair. Warrior three. Let's do it one more time. One-legged chair and hold it. Go a little deep. To warrior three. Two hands on the ground. Plank. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, Chaturanga, exhale, downward facing dog. Plank. Jump your feet on the outside of your mat, start playing. Bring your right foot over the left ankle. Give me a chaturanga. Come back up, side plank on the left hand. And hands on the ground. From here, you are going to have your feet next to each other. Jump over to the opposite side. Uh, left foot, this time on top of the right heel, Chaturanga, side plank, hands on the ground, jump over, Chaturanga, side plank, keep your belly firm, hands on the ground, jump over, Chaturanga, side plank, Jump over, Chaturanga, side plank. And this time bring both hands on the ground. Stay on the outer edge of your left foot, inner edge of the right, and jump your feet behind your wrists five times. One, two, three, four, five. And jumping over to the opposite side, Left foot on top of the right, Chaturanga, side plank, hands on the ground, and let's jump, outer edge of the right foot on the ground, and let's jump here five times. One, two, three, four, and five, and take your plank. Jump your feet behind your wrists, chair. Hands behind 
hands behind your head and we'll take a squat to back lunge right leg stepping back squat left leg goes back lunge squat right leg back lunge squat left squat right keep your back straight if you cannot then you'll just give me a small squat back lunge 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 let's do 10 more of those one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and hold your squat hands on the ground plank right foot steps through across from your body all the way to your left outer edge of the right foot on the ground chaturanga step it back opposite side chaturanga opposite side opposite side opposite side opposite side opposite side opposite side and last one and from here plank chaturanga upward dog and back to chaturanga downward facing dog take your right leg up open the right hip and lift your knee high drop the foot behind you flip your hips high as in wild thing here for this for the alignment of this i want your wrist to be underneath your shoulder and you bend both of your knees here bring your right hand behind your head shift your weight onto your right leg bring your knee left knee to your right elbow let's go five times one two three and four lift your hips high in between and five great and back to one legged down dog step your right foot between your hands high lunge hands in prayer twist i didn't lie when i said impact <laughs> and back to center exhale hands down chaturanga upward dog chaturanga downward dog inhale the left leg up open the left hip lift drop the foot behind you align your wrist underneath your shoulder left hand behind your head shift your weight onto your left foot and let's go right knee left elbow one two three four and post your hips and five and back to one legged down dog step it through high lunge hands in prayer twist inhale back up exhale down step it back lower down upward facing dog chaturanga downward facing dog 
Spread the fingers wide open, shoulders away from the ears. Bring your left hand in the center of your mat, right hand to your left ankle, hook underneath your shoulder. Excellent. Change sides. Twist, excellent. And walk your hands to the back of your mat in a forward bend. You can wrap your wrist around your elbows, let your upper body hang. Hands on the floor, bring your hands underneath your shoulders and pose your right leg behind you five times. Just engaging your glutes basically. One, belly firm, two, three, four, five. Left hand on the floor, grab your ankle with your right hand and open here. And now let your foot go and grab your big toe. Just your big toe. Hold with the right hand and open your leg out to your right and let it down. And step onto your right leg. Take your left leg behind you and to we'll go for five poses. One, two, three, four, five. And right hand on the floor, left hand to left ankle, open. And bring your foot in front of you, grab your big toe with your hand and open and let it go. Walk to the front. And we'll go 10 more chaturangas. We'll do 10 more chaturangas with the cross steps. Right crosses to the left, one. Left crosses to the right, two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and last one, ten. Ooh. And back to downward dog. Inhale the right leg up, step the right foot between the hands, drop the back heel down, warrior one. Sink a little deeper here. Warrior two. Sink a little deeper, take a little wider stance. Reverse the warrior. Side angle. Reach over your head. And bring your hands on the floor. Take plie stance. Come up, plie. Holding plie for just a breath. And hands on the ground. Move into vinyasa. Upward dog. Chaturanga. Downward dog. Take the left leg up. Step the left foot between the hands. Warrior one. Sink a little deeper and try to rotate your right hip internally. And open into warrior two. So here again, 
take a little wider stance and sink a little deeper. I find it extremely important for developing flexibility and also getting to work on your legs, getting your legs strong. Externally rotating here the right hip and reverse the warrior, really lengthen, big strides. And side angle. And reach over your head. Really lengthening here. There is something extremely therapeutic about side angle beyond, maybe it's my favorite pose as of lately. It definitely feels like after a shiatsu massage, when all the little muscles in your body get worked on, that's how this can get. Both hands on the floor, take plie stands and come up. Plie. Because we love plie. So now, let's quiet the mind, and I'm not going to try to distract you in plie. I'll actually stay silent. Stay silent, hands over the heart. You can close your eyes, and we'll stay here till burnout. But try not to focus on where it's burning and the work you're doing. Try to focus on your stillness. There is, there is strength in this pose. So tap into the strength in this pose. Feed, feed that strength back, th back into your body and hold. Press your knees back. And feet outer and inner edges of the feet are on the ground pressing. Great, and we'll sink a little deeper here. Hands on the thighs, look over your left shoulder, press your right hand into your leg, chain sides. Double pad your mat and bring your knees onto the soft part, frog pose. Calves parallel to each other. Feet flexing. Coming out of this, feet together, knees slightly closer. Stay on your forearms. Knees closer together. And here, you can bring your Bum between your heels on the ground and lower down as far down as it feels good for you. You can stay on your elbows here. Keep your knees hip width apart and if possible down.
elbows on the ground, coming back up and face the front of your mat. And now there is the philosophical question. <laughs> one of you asked oh, <laughs> which one is the front of the mat. Well, and this is like which came first, the chicken or the egg? We can start this discussion and just go deep into it. But for now, just choose the front of your mat and step your feet on the outside of your mat, taking a modified down dog with your fingers pointing slightly in diamond shape towards each other. And we'll do a push up here. S jump the feet together and do one two leg poses. So that's the demonstration. Jump the feet out, push up, leg pose, really contracting the bum, leg pose, out, push up, in, leg pose, leg pose, out, push up, in, leg pose, leg pose, out, push up, in, leg pose, leg pose, out. Now, this time shift onto your right foot, leg pose, push up. And left side, leg pose, push up. And right side, lifting one leg, push up, or shoulder push up. Lifting, shoulder push up. Lifting, one legged shoulder push up. Lifting, one legged shoulder push up and knees on the ground, come onto your bum and lower down onto your back. Here, we'll go for 20 bicycles, really contracting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten side crunches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, opposite side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, back onto your back, and extend the legs on the ground, and we'll touch right hand, left foot, left hand, right foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, ten more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten side crunches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boy, do I feel this. And opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and <coughs> from here you can flip back onto your belly and come onto your hands. <coughs> One second, and come onto your hands, all fours. Take your toes under, downward dog, Right leg comes through, pigeon. Level your hips, lengthen, open, keep the spine elongated and hold here.
coming back up, open the chest. Go back. Circle. Changing sides. Open the chest. Level the hips. Lower down. And coming back up, open. Go back to one legged down dog. Bring your knees on the ground. Sit back onto your heels. Hands over the heart. Take a second to scan your body. Head to toe. Notice the differences in your body from the beginning of the practice. And let's bring the legs in front of us. Right knee on the ground, left foot on the outside of the knee, reach up, twist. <coughs> Stack the knees on top of each other and fold forward. And changing sides, left knee on the ground, reach, exhale. Release, stacking the knees on top of each other, walking the heels in towards your hips, bending forward. Coming back up, legs in front of you, and you can go back into <laughs> plow.
and shoulder scent. And you can slowly lower down. And stay here for a second. Hands underneath the hips, fish pose, so elbows on the ground, top of crown of the head down, open the chest, release and let go. Stay in Shavasana for as long as you need to. Thanks for joining me today. Namaste.